Hello, welcome to Cultural Spectrums and Jazz Pearls. I'm your host, Eric Frazier. We have a fantastic program in store for you today. We hope you'll enjoy. Oh, 
Here we are with the man, the man of the hour, the man of the day, the man of the summer, because he's just kicked off his sixth annual kickoff of the Eric Frazier Jazz, Fort Greene Jazz Festival right here at the Cumble Theater in downtown Brooklyn. And it was a superb kickoff, I must say. The people came out, they showed love, they so, showed support, and he works so very hard. He looks, he looks like he's, he's calm and cool and collected, but he worked his ass off, folks. And he you that gotta out. give it, and he's, you know, but let's give it to him, let's give a hand to Mr. Eric Frazier again for putting together this kickoff, which is, a kickoff is the beginning of something, and this is the beginning of what's going to be the Fort Greene Jazz Festival that's going to take place on July 25th and August. And September 12th. And September 12th. And uh, when you kick off something like the way he kicked this one off, it's a lot of hard work, but you're going to have a great time outdoors because indoors, like I described earlier, it's, it's so cozy and comf comforting. It's almost like being in a Broadway theater and checking out live jazz with beautiful lights and beautiful sound and a beautiful area to work with and great talent. But here we go outdoors on the grass. Uh, on the lawn, up under the trees, and talk about that experience. Why did you want to do this kind of thing, man? Let's just, just talk about your experience with this festival and what, how, what it means to you to do this. It, it means a lot to me because I feel like I'm contributing to the uh, efforts to build and proliferate mm -hmm. jazz, uh, jazz uh, here in Brooklyn. And uh, I feel like it's... Um, I feel like it's making history because there are a lot of things that are just taking place right now because of the new arena that was built, Barclay Center, yeah. and because of all of the, uh, the buildings, the apartments that's being built, and the gentrification, and things are changing. And it's been said before that um, there hasn't been such a change like this in New York City mm -hmm. since the turn of the century okay. uh, when it was Manhattan, and now it's Brooklyn. Right. So I wanted to do it for, I guess, so many different reasons. Uh, one, uh, history, of course, legacy. Uh, also, uh, to give something back to the community, uh, to uh, try to build the spirit and the energy in the community, and also, again, to try to build and, and expand the proliferation of jazz. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the one, the one that, the word that I keep going back to is history. You say you try, you, you want to do this to, uh, for the historic values of it. Talk about that, please. Yes, because there's been so many great, great artists uh, uh, of all the different genres, and then particularly in jazz, mm -hmm. that have laid down some great work, and but have been forgotten. Uh, there's been um, so many, so many archives of uh, great compositions, great music done, and great shows, and uh, but they have not been really um, uh, exposed over time. Mm -hmm. So I want to try to do something that is lasting, that is something that can grow as a community grows, and something that can be uh, inclusive mm -hmm. of all the artists who are doing things. Uh, uh, right now you have so many segmented efforts in the arts and right. uh, we want to try to do something that could help to spearhead or at least inspire others to come together to do this because as you know uh, United We Stand. Right. You know? My question is why Eric Fraser? I mean other people could do this. You could, you could leave it to other people. You just, you, just you, you, you left a uh, not love you retired from being a principal in the educational system, and then you went on to become this jazz musician, jazz pro, uh, promoter, jazz vocalist, jazz tap dancer. You went, you went on to why Eric Frazier? Well, uh, what's so special about this guy Eric Frazier that makes him want to do something like this? <laughs> well, I got to tell you, I, I was always a, a kind of a energetic, souped up kind of, you know, person. I remember as an athlete, uh, you know, I used to run and I played the drums and 
and then uh, you know I was a historian because I, mm -hmm. I studied the history and uh, worked with some historians when I went to college and so uh, and then I spent many years competing running track for 27 years mm -hmm. and uh, but then after the competition days were over I had all this energy and um, and I had all this experience being an administrator uh, you're working with people building programs evaluate and know so I said well now let me use it in my personal life and uh, I said well you know what can black men do out here mm. you know uh, you can go into the stock market uh, but you know it was so iffy as far as I because right. I didn't know much and I said well hey, let's look at music we looked at the music and there's been a whole lot of successes so I said I'm gonna go in that area because mm -hmm. I, I to answer your question my bottom line was I wanted to be a business person a successful business person right, on my own. Right. That's that's what was motivating mm, me all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting because um, you know there's two words in that word show business, and uh, you can't you can have a show, but you do have to take care of the business. Yes, absolutely. And that's so very important. Absolutely. So uh, we tonight's performances of uh, the, the being in the Cumble Theater for the second time. Talk about that experience for you. Well, it's a very good experience because uh, it's to me. I'm sort of trying to lay down an example of what we can, what we can be about when we connect with uh, uh, music and jazz, uh, the types of things we can do, and uh, uh, I like to do it just to say, just so that people know that this is the kind of things that we can do. Right. And. Um, uh, Basically, and also it gives me, it gives me something to do that I like to do because mm -hmm. uh, I've always had this idea that that I would be the type of person that you could leave and leave me in the desert and leave me for for naught, and you come back in a little while and then there's a whole city <laughs> built, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah, and so you know, that kind of thing. That's wonderful. I, you know, brother, I must, must say I love your tenacity, I love your creativity, and just the fact that you are very so supportive of the jazz uh, movement of things here in, in this town, and, and I could be firsthand to say that I appreciate you for your support of Banana Pudding Jazz as being the sponsor of Banana Pudding Jazz, which we're in our, to our 12th year now, and, uh, and not to say it started 12 years ago, but when times got tough, you were the one who told me, said, Rome, you need to get some sponsors to help you out because you knew I was getting ready to give up the whole jazz promotional thing. And you, ju and you jumped on and became the first sponsor and you're still the sponsor as of today. So we thank you so very much for not only being uh, Eric Frazier, the, the jazz icon in Brooklyn, but being so much a part of the experience of keeping it together and keeping the love for the music up under us all and bringing us together at Fort Greene Park on July 25th and September 13th. September 12th. 12th. So we're looking forward to that and uh, having a great time with you outdoors. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Keep keep up doing keep doing the work. You can't stop bebop. Yeah, there you okay. go. And, and let me just say, that on August, that on September 12th, and on Saturday, July 25th, it's 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. outdoors. The entrance to the Fort Green Park will be on Myrtle Avenue, and um, also. Uh, you can take the 54 bus of, of, from downtown Brooklyn, and, and it'll let you off right at North Portland and Myrtle Avenue. Right. And you just go, go right up the hill. Yeah. Exactly. And also, for more information about the Fort Green Park, you can go to www.fortgreenparkjazzfestival.com or www.ericfrasermusic.com and you can find out more information about the history of a lot of the artists and a lot of the figures in Brooklyn that contributed to the, the whole uh, notion of doing the festival. Okay, wonderful. Okay, here. Yeah. I'm Ro Neal, signing off here at the Combo Theater for Eric Fraser's kickoff of the 6th Annual Fort Greene Park Jazz Festival. Be there or be square. Peace. Peace. Okay, wonderful. It's entitled The Jazz Spot.
uh, named after a uh, Rome like that too, named after a little little spot here in uh, Bed Stuy, and uh, we got together one day and we just were jamming like we do, and uh, we just thought of this cover. You know, we write the tune, so wrote it, and this is what happened. <laughs> Gentlemen, we can't do this tune without you, so when I point to you, all you have to do is just say the jazz spot and sing it if you like. Lot of things are getting hot, it's really about to start at the jazz spot. Everybody's looking, things are always cooking at the jazz spot.
to experience all of the wonderful culture that's created here in Brooklyn. And this park is such an extraordinary park. And also, this park is so great because there's no other space in this entire district with all of the changes that are happening that bring to pe together people of all races, religions, nationalities, ages. Like, that's what's wonderful about this park is that it brings us all together to be able to enjoy a concert, to be able to walk, to be able to run, to exercise, to barbecue. We were just here for Soul Summit the other week. Like, there's so much that goes on here, and I'm loving it all, taking it all in, and that's why I'm so proud that I have this district, because this district is where it's at, and it's an incredible place to be. So our musicians are so very important to us, so it's an honor and a privilege to be your representative. I see so many familiar faces. Eric Frazier does an extraordinary job. Give it up for Eric Frazier today. Eric is so amazing. He always brings the community together. He always brings us together in a spirit of culture, of music, and creativity. And I am proud to know him and proud to have him here in the borough of Brooklyn because you are what makes Brooklyn special and you are why, one of the reasons why, so many people come to Brooklyn, New York because of the creativity that can't be found anywhere else. No offense to the other boroughs, I love you all too. But we've got something very special here in Brooklyn. Thank you. Miss Lori, come on, ladies and gentlemen. Bring up a wonderful gentleman. And he reminds me of so much of my days uh, when I used to work with the parks parks department and uh, the Teddy Roosevelt Museum. I loved it. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause for Mr. David Barker and Julianne Crum. Yes, come on up, fellas. Tell them about the park and what you do and uh, all of that great stuff. Step up, baby. Thank you, Eric. Good evening. I'm Dave Barker, the uh, park director of Fort Greene Park. I started in December, so about six months into uh, helping make this place thrive and the arts are really central uh, to the success of the park and we're thrilled that Eric and the Fort Green Park Jazz Festival are returning for a, a sixth year. Um, you can actually create your own concert in the park right now. We have a piano at Myrtle and Washington Park uh, just sitting there for anyone to come and play um, and we have a full full schedule of, uh, of cultural programming this summer. Um, my role at the park is to oversee uh, ma maintenance, uh, planning, uh, programming. Uh, and we, have a, we have a lot of work to do and the community is going to have to uh, all chip in. We have a great volunteer corps uh, who come out on weekends to garden and you know, landscape restoration is really key right now to the park's success. We have gardens throughout the park and we actually do not have a gardener but we, we have a great uh, core of volunteers. And I want to also want to introduce uh, Julian McCrone from the Fort Greene Park Conservancy. Uh, the Conservancy is a, a key partner for Fort Greene. They help support 
maintenance materials, everything from weed whackers to snow blowers, and they also organize uh, free public programming. So, Julian, please take it away. Thanks, David, for the always wonderful words, and thank all of you for coming out tonight. Um, for those of you who don't know Dave yet, um, he took the reins as park director in Fort Greene Park back in December, as he said, and since then has been nothing short of inspiring um, in the work he's done to spearhead the development and growth of the park and providing resources and the leadership this place needs to really thrive and, and be the beautiful place it can be. Um, yeah, it's been great partnering with them, and uh, you know, it's it's the work we do as a conservancy wouldn't be possible without all the help from all of you um, and people like Eric who really help make this you know give this place some soul and breathe life into it. Um, so, like I said, or like David said, my name is Julian. I'm the programming and development coordinator for the Fort Greene Park Conservancy. Uh, we're a nonprofit that partners with the City of New York and NYC Parks to fundraise, advocate, um, and you know, just kind of support the park. Uh, and we couldn't do, like I said, we couldn't do what we do without all of you, without Eric. Um, and just as a brief token of appreciation uh, for the work that Eric does, even though um, this is Eric's sixth rodeo in Fort Greene Park and for the Jazz Fest. This is the first time that he's partnered with the Conservancy and that we've had the pleasure of working with him um, in order to promote the park. And so as a token of our appreciation, we'd like to present you with a jumbo deluxe edition and version of our 2015 programming poster, which Eric plays a rather prominent role in. Um, so hopefully we'll see all of you out in the park this summer for the two Jazz Fest dates. Um, and Eric, just thank you so much again. It's an honor to be here, it's, and it's an honor to work with such a presence in the community. Um, if you'd like to talk about framing options, we might be able to uh, have a little conversation after the fact. Um, and if any of you would like to learn more about the Conservancy, feel free to pull me off after the show. and. Uh, we can discuss that more. But anyway, this night's about Eric. Um, so thank you again, and looking forward to some great music out tonight. Fantastic. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And uh, totally unexpected and very, very, very nice. And uh, we have a wonderful place to put this uh, um, poster, and uh, very much appreciate it. Now, a few things. <laughs>
Run away 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget, tune in next week to Cultural Spectrums and Jazz Pearls. Same time, same station. Until then, peace be with you.